Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the what we got for Christmas video. I have been doing this for many years now, obviously in the last few years it's been for Scott and myself, not just me. And it's a video I kind of enjoy filming every year. And it's of course in no way meant to be kind of braggy or anything like that. I just really like looking back and seeing what people got me and just what we got collectively. So I kind of have things schlocked around me, so I'm gonna kind of pick randomly. So I am a teacher, if you're new here, and am lucky enough that many, if not all, of my students and their parents gift me something at Christmas time for which I am grateful, whether it is a hand-drawn card or a gift card or some small treat. I appreciate gifts, no matter who they're from or what they are. So I'm gonna just kind of go in any particular order of things I can grab to share with you guys. So the first that I'm gonna share is from one of Scott's aunts, and it's a bit of makeup. And this is Max Effervescence Extra Dimension Face Compact, and it is so pretty. Like just the packaging itself is gorgeous. And I can't remember the last time that I actually got new makeup because I just have so much of it that I know we're getting through it, so I'm very excited to have something kind of new in my collection. Scott and I this year kind of chose to not really do gifts, but we did do our stockings, and one of the items that Scott got me in my stocking is something that I've wanted for quite some time and just couldn't justify picking it up, and that's a plant mister. It's, this one is a ceramic and blue. I know they have a ceramic and yellow, which he said um, he thought about picking up, but the one that I've like really, really wanted for years, um, they didn't actually have in store, but we can order it, so I might might do an exchange. And it's a clear glass one that says, hey mister, on it, because I love a good pun. But, love this. The next thing I got from my father-in-law, and we kind of have a little tradition between the two of us that he ends up picking out some sort of puzzle for me. And this one was really cool, and he was actually worried that he had already gifted me this, but he hadn't. And this is kind of a hybrid of myself and Scott, and it's actually a Doctor Who puzzle. And it's a really cool one. This is the 11 series featuring Doctors 9 through 13, and it has all 154 episodes from 2005 to 2019. And what's really cool is in each of the telephone boxes, it's got the episode number, the episode name, and then some sort of still image from it. So I'm very excited for that. Thought he was given a Terry's Chocolate Orange. I also got him the Spiced Rum Soft Caramels. I just love caramels. Um, I'm not a rum person, but him and his family are, so I thought the Spiced Rum would be kind of tasty, and he gave it a thumbs up, so that was really good. Another item that I got for Scott's stocking was this Holiday Activities Scratch Off poster. I just picked it up from Chapters from Indigo and just like gave a little furries on the different items. I thought they were really cool and figured that we can spend the next couple of years kind of, you know, scratching them off as we accomplish them. Also, I'm very sorry for the lighting. Obviously, I have my tree up, which you will sadly notice is not decorated. We went just for a light tree this year, but the overhead light is a little bit bright and sometimes the camera will autofocus to the tree and not me. So I apologize if I get blurry. This next gift came from one of my students and it's funny because I've had this family. It's the second time I've taught this family. Um, her elder sister I had a couple years ago and they tend to do the same Christmas gift every year. So because I now have her younger sister, her parents had to change it. Um, and this one was really, really cute, and they know that I love tea, and it is a tea set, and there's a cup and saucer, there's a little actual, like, um, glass teapot, as well as, uh, I think that was, that part's a diffuser, there's a little serving tray, there's some tea, there is some honey, bear, and, and, um, honeycomb candle, and my classroom theme is lemons, and that's why it's a lemon pattern, and it's just super cute, and I just love, like, thoughtful little things like that. Scott's family is quite big, like, there's four siblings, there's now two spouses, so we do not buy gifts for everybody, because nobody can afford that right now. So we do a secret Santa gift exchange. So Scott, his gift this year were some tiles, and this microfiber towel 
because we are eventually planning to do our honeymoon in Iceland. So the note made a cute little comment about the nice little travel towel. Another item that I got for Scott stocking is I bought him this um, ice sphere maker a couple years ago and he loved it, like a silicone one. But some of our glasses are not like quite wide enough for them or they like just fit and you can't really get a whole lot around them. So I decided to get him another ice mold, but these ones are large square cubes, or large cubes I guess. Um, and they're just a little bit narrower than what the spheres are, so toss that in Scott's stocking and he was very happy. And then another item he put in my stocking is, I come across this tea, he actually got me on them for their English breakfast tea and it's Harney and Sons and I've had their Darjeeling, their English breakfast and they have some like holiday themed ones and they have a whole bunch of like standard teas and I haven't been able to find my Darjeeling recently but Scott picked this one up and it was called Paris and he was like it's a gamble, he's like I have no idea what it's going to taste like and the description of Paris is this Paris style black tea naturally flavored. So gave that a shot. He did also get me another tea and I went to go have one this morning and realized that somebody else had already opened it and I actually decided to like count them and someone stole tea from Chapters. So if I could find Scott's receipt I'm gonna go back and just um, lodge a complaint and see if I can actually get another one. The next gift was from one of my students. It did come with uh, I believe another gift card in it or like a little note but the gift piece is a metal bookmark that has a little apple on the end for when you're sitting on the outside of your book and looks like it's a like glass bead and it's just so pretty it's so cute and it reminds me that I need to read again so moving into my secret Santa gift that I received it was one of my sister-in-law's and I got this Lush Bath Bomb. I don't know what the like name of it is, but it smells really good. So, very excited for that. It's been a long time since I've actually used a bath bomb. So, the second piece of that was the Wishing You Wellness six-piece mini skincare tool set from Sephora, which I'm very excited for because there's actually a few pieces in here that I almost bought recently, so it was very fortuitous of that, and I'm very excited to use them, especially the, like, globes because that's one of the items that I almost purchased recently. So I will be busting this out for some self-care later today. And then a couple more little treats that we got from Scott's mom, again along the self-care line. This is the Calm Shower Steamers, and this is in like a lavender type scent. And they just look really cool. So place one steamer onto the shower floor in one of the two corners closest to the water steam water stream rather, and it's gonna fizzle and the aroma will envelop you while you're showering. So that's pretty cool. I just love this. This is a nice little back scrubber. My dad got Scott and I a couple things that were similar or like along the same lines. So we got, <laughs> I used to love these. These are little like ball mazes. So they're double whammies. And I feel like those would be really good for my classroom, for my students. We each got a chocolate bar. He got a dark chocolate. I think his was about 70% cacao. And then I got white chocolate, and this is the only time of the year that my dad will buy me white chocolate, because it's not really chocolate. And then, <laughs> this is a truly adult gift. This is an auto expense book, just because I am someone who tracks my gas mileage. And I'm sure if you are not new here, you have 100% heard me talk about this before, but every year since I was born, my dad has bought me an ornament for our trees, and now my tree, and that of course has not changed. And this is a hand-painted one, and it's a beautiful poinsettia. A little holly, oops, little holly berry on the back. And then another thing that my dad <laughs> gave us, and they're just things he's kind of collected, but we have the little wine glass like identifier tags. So we now have, I think, eight of them between our two stockings. So, you know, if we ever have guests over. Then Scotty did sneak in a gift for me, even though, as I said, we were not doing gift exchange this year between the two of us. And this is something that I had on my Secret Santa list, and it is a travel case for my Cricut. Because I redid my office recently, and my Cricut has lost its prize spot, and I kind of was like, well, where do I put it? Like, how, I don't want to just, like, leave it out. So this is a nice little storage bag for it. So obviously I left it folded out, so I was like, I'm never going to get back to this package. But it'll be really nice to put some of the other 
um, kind of Cricut tools and stuff in one place instead of in some of my drawer units that I've got. So one of my students, this is, this is the kind of thing that I absolutely love. She got an axolotl a little while ago, which I believe is named Sunny. I believe it's named Sunny because it's yellow. And so I figured this was a little portrait of Sunny. So yeah, so Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. There's also a winner's gift card and a little chocolate Santa in there. And just kind of running with students' gifts. One of my students is from Guatemala. She is all about repping Guatemala and Guatemalan food. So her and her family baked us a classic like, Christmas cookie. And they're very tasty. And I told they're very tasty with tea or coffee if you dunk them. Another one of my students got me a Lush box. Um, I got a Lush box from one of my students last year. And you can always smell them a mile away. So this one also has some fabulous bath bombs in it. There's a Black Rose bath bomb, Lord of Misrule bath bomb, Partridge in a Pear Tree bath bomb, and Snowdrift bath bomb. And I always just love their boxes. Like, the gift boxes are just so lovely. And I'm so happy to have this. I know a lot of teachers swear by these bags, and they're, I want to say gifted often, but I know a lot of teachers support them. So this is the, is this 31, I believe is the uh, brand. And it's like the big tote bag. And this one's Christmas themed. So I thought, you know what? This will come in super handy. All right, another student gift, which again is so cute. And I said that my classroom theme is lemons. I actually call my kids the Lemonade Squad. So sometimes they take the lemons very seriously, as they should. Um, and so this gift was also lemon themed. So this is one of the reusable straw um, sip by Swell takeaway tumblers. So it's pink with some lemons on it, lemonade on them. Some of the lemons have, I swear I just saw one with sunglasses, sunglasses. Um, and like I said, it's got the reusable straw, which I really like. Cold for 16 hours, hot for four. A really cute lemon notebook because I have a notebook problem. I love me a notebook. So super cute. So I think it was last year and or the year prior where Scott and I really dug our heels in with getting a lot of power tools, or we gifted a lot of power tools. We get another Milwaukee tool, we are a Milwaukee family, and this is the compact blower, and it's so cute, and it's so little, and it does not seem intimidating whatsoever, so I would actually go out of my way to use it. That's just a really, you know, little handy thing to get as an adult. I also really thoroughly enjoy the gift bags that I get. I'm somebody, I keep the gift bags, I keep the tissue paper, because it always comes in handy. Yeah, this student gave me some homemade biscotti, which was really, really good. And he threw in a candle, and this candle is Holly Jolly Berry. And a very, like, not an overly sweet berry scent, very much more of a festive, festive scent. If you know me, you know that uh, I don't like being cold, first off. And that means that I love blankets. I also own an obscene number of blankets. And I finally got a blanket from one of my students and a really cute, what I will use as an ornament. I think it's meant to be an ornament, but it says fa -la, la on it right there. Nice little acrylic one. And it's just so soft. It's like a Sherpa. And I just love that it has a little handle on it because it means that I can actually like roll it up and store it like this. And then this is from a student, which again, I was very happy with. It is an oolong tea, and it just, I just love the tin. Like, I also love collecting tea tins. All right, this is the last gift from a student, and it was one of those gifts that just kept on giving and really shocked me. So this family um, had messaged me a month or so ago, and was like, okay, like you've got to know our son. We'd love to let him get to know you a bit better. And they sent me a bunch of like survey questions. Just like, you know, favorite color or favorite food or favorite things to do and that kind of stuff. So using my answers, they built this Christmas gift. And I was floored. Like even just trying to like articulate to you how much like thought went into this. Like I, I can't, <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even begin to. So this was, Stunningly packaged, stunningly thought out, and uh, just like, it was one of those things that just blew me away. So first of all, this trunk is stunning. Just like that alone, I'm like, gift done. So they wrapped it, 
It's got a little like lever, it opens up, and there's so much in here. So I had mentioned that like sage green was kind of like my, my current favorite color. So the bin is sage green. They have a scarf in here that's sage green. I got this little like mistletoe, like door hanger kind of thing. Like I said, there's this nice scarf in here. There were a couple of cards. One of these things is a Soma chocolate maker. It's birch dark filled chocolate branch with hazelnut praline and sour cherry jam. One of the questions was like your favorite authors. So I said JK Rowling. I love the Harry Potter series. She bought me a UK first edition of Tales of Beetle the Bard, which like was mind blowing. And she mentioned that I guess if JK Rowling does a book signing, you can register to have it, like if I'm ever in the UK again, register to have it signed. And obviously being a first edition, it will be worth a lot down the road. So that was really cool. I also love that she put it in one of the little like fake books. It's wrapped in like a beautiful burgundy suede. <laughs> so that was really cool. Then I got some white, I believe these are like white leather gloves. There's a like nude peach beret with a little applique on it. There is a golden snitch tree ornament, which I <laughs> definitely made me smile, loved that. And then this was the cutest thing, and it's pizza socks. So it's literally a little pizza box, and the socks look like a pizza. I just thought it was so stinking cute, and I was just like, these are amazing. It was a spectacular gift. So last few things that my dad had gotten us, we are not big wine drinkers in my household, but we did not have a corkscrew. At least not a good one, like a decent one. So dad was like, this is a necessity. And then we each got some pistachios, I got some unsalted ones, and then he got Scott some sweet chili ones. And like for us, pistachios just screams Christmas. And Scotty got the little tangram puzzle, and then mine is very reminiscent of one that my dad owns that caused much stress with me growing up and that is this style one. And immediately I told Scott to take a picture of them because I said we are going to take them out and never be able to get them back in. And so it's always nice to have an answer key. And I will say that Scott's family aren't big card givers for like birthdays or holidays and stuff like that. And my dad and I very much are card people. And so I actually hand make cards every year or like do something with cards. So my dad was the first and only person to give us a card this year that was like a first year being married, a first Christmas together married. So it says daughter and son-in-law. So that was really cute. That made me very happy. And then one of the little things my dad got Scott. So it is a Irish whiskey like book and it's from Writer's Tears and there's a little story in it and then there's three different um, samplers and different styles. So he's very keen to give that a go. And I also just like love packaging. Like I love the fake book kind of look. So it'll sit happily on our bar. And my small gift from my dad was this Christmas in Paris puzzle. My dad and I love puzzles. So that's something that we've often um, given each other. And I made him laugh and I said, you're so lucky. And he's like, why? And I said, I almost bought this for myself about a month and a half ago. Cause I bought a puzzle for my students. And this was one that I like actually almost picked up for myself. And I was like, no, it's fine. I don't need another puzzle. So I got that. So the last couple things are there's some bigger items which I can't like quite show but one of them is an outdoor patio heater a propane based heater which will be awesome for the backyard my dad has added to our sound system collection every year he kind of picks away at a piece so we now have a subwoofer for our home surround sound so we'll have to get that sorted out and figured out so those are kind of like in my doorway right now because they are quite large. And then the last couple of things were some joint gifts and um, some gifts for Scott from his aunt. So for Scott from one of his aunts, he got some of the True Classic Teas. If you have heard of this brand, they're all over Instagram, but if you've heard of them and you've been unsure of, take this as your, your confirmation of going and getting them. So whether it's for your brother, your boyfriend, your husband, your partner, whoever, go get them. They are definitely worth it. So she got him three. Scott he only likes v-neck, but he bought some true classics about a month ago and has not stopped wearing them. 
So she got him a green, which is great because he does not have any like real colored ones. Then a navy and a gray. And the last one he got is not a true classic shirt. It's actually just from American Eagle, but it just looks so incredibly comfy. It's just a Henley and it's gray and navy and I feel like I'm gonna end up wearing it first. All right, and then the last gift that I have, I'm, I feel like I, every year I feel like I forget something when I do these videos <laughs> and I either find it later or I realize that I was imagining it. And this is later Sydney because I knew it. I knew I'd miss something. My mother-in-law got me a beautiful teapot. Now it'll be nice to be able to make a pot of tea if my dad comes over, not just a bunch of cure eggs. And then I should mention that I also got this cute little Harry Potter ornament. And I also had a few more gift cards that uh, were tucked away. So I have a couple of Amazon gift cards. I had a PC gift card as well as a Starbucks gift card from and continue. But we got these beautiful little tea towels that say happy holidays on them and they're like a beautiful green and I absolutely love this green. We got these marble cheese knives. They are gold with the marble handles. I guess that's probably a better visual. The last thing that we got was this beautiful serving platter, which we don't really have. We haven't really hosted a lot, so we don't have a lot of serving wear, but it's this nice cream with like a metallic gold edging. So that's everything. And thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know what you got for Christmas this year. Maybe your favorite gift or the most meaningful gift that you either gave or received. And I will see you guys in the new year. I hope you have a happy and healthy new year's and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.